we are at Horseshoe Harbor in the Keweenaw Peninsula of Michigan. And we're looking at stromatolites. That's what this is. Stromatolites are the fossils of cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae. And they can tell us a little bit about what the environment here was like 1.1 billion years ago when these were forming. These would be growing in shallow water, and they would grow upward from this rock here, the substrate. And they're growing upwards towards sunlight because they are photosynthetic. Now, they secrete a kind of goo, and sediment will get trapped in that goo, and that's why we see these different layers. So sediment would get trapped, and then the organism would grow upwards, and more would get trapped, and it would grow upwards. These cyanobacteria are very important to us in Earth history because being photosynthetic, they are one of the organisms that helped oxygenate Earth's atmosphere and make it livable for, well, us. Um, we, we came along eventually. Um, stromatolites, once upon a time, were some of the most abundant organisms on Earth. And in fact, cyanobacteria are very successful organisms. They still exist today. So you might ask yourself, why don't I see them everywhere today still? Well, the reason is, nowadays, things evolve that like to eat these. And so they graze on these cyanobacteria. Things like snails especially love eating these things. So you will only find stromatolites on Earth today in places where the organisms that eat them do not exist. If you want to go see some, go visit Shark Bay in Australia to see modern stromatolites.